WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. We're looking at the Dow down 38 points at 36,360. Yesterday there was an all-time high. Uh, that made a leg C. There's a good chance we're going to make a peak C today in the Chapman Wing methodology. We're always trying to identify a buy signal that goes to a buy mode that can go to at least a D. We'll see if that's going to be able to occur over the coming few days. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we've got to be careful. And one of the reasons I say that is, look, the S&P, so, oops, uh, yeah, the S&P right now is at 47.76, down just over two points, made an all-time high yesterday, just over 4,800. That was a leg E. There's a good chance we're going to make it peak E. There's also a good chance that this is just a, the sign of at least some kind of a pullback coming up in the next few days. Uh, we're going to be watching, but the MACD is good. The stochastics at 92%. That's good. On balance volume is not that good. Relative strength is okay at about uh, 60%. So we're watching this very closely to see how we close the day. Uh, QQQ, NDX 100, trading down a dollar and a half at 398. All time high 408.71. In my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, I'm going to show you how this rectangle formation can suggest that there could be a sideways move for the next few weeks. Trading between maybe 408.71 was all time high. Trading maybe between 410 and the 385 area. Let's see what happens. IWM, the Russell 2000, not showing leadership here, is up 12 cents at 223. It needs a lot higher. It needs to go to 228 to show strength. Now, gold is talking about strength. Gold is showing strength. It's up 8 at 18.23. Nice action leg. See in the daily chart. This is, um, there are enough signals to say that it should go to even a D. But I think it's lacking in the, the, the momentum to the upside. It's really more a struggle to just keep pushing high. If you're looking at the dollar, the dollar is just kind of stuck. It's down to 15 ticks at 95.81. It's going towards the lower range of the uh, the cup formation. We'll talk about that in my show coming up. Tiger Technicians Hour. And you're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is, in fact, um, holding okay at the 76th area. And the TLT, this is a very important bonds, just kind of stuck down 20 ticks. So uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful 2022. And I'll be back for my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. I'll be back in a moment. Hope to see you there. Otherwise, have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you in 2022.